leg is broken, but not necessarily when they have a concussion. And the Maine Concussion Management Initiative wants athletes to know the signs of that injury. The group out of Colby College held a concussion event today ahead of today's Red Claws game. When we think of concussions, we often think of football, but they can affect all athletes and girls too. The head of the group and a student athlete speaking today say the seriousness around head injuries is changing. It used to be used to play when you got your bells rung or you saw stars. No, it's no longer acceptable. The question is how to make sure that the athletes are telling us when this is happening. One of our greatest concerns is we have no real way on the sidelines to really accurately assess whether they've had a concussion. It's all about symptoms. I, mean, I initially just sort of shrugged it off. I didn't really think it was a concussion. I thought it was just a stinger to start and then just dehydration later on. But I really didn't have any serious symptoms from the first collision. And then later that night, I really realized that there was a lot more going on. For more information about concussions and the main concussion management initiative, we put a link on our website, WMTW.com.